The world is full of scary places that you definitely never want to go to, like isolated islands inhabited by dangerous people and places with extreme environments. So, in today's video, we're going to take a look at 15 of the most terrifying places in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. The Mariana Trench the ocean world can be a wonderful place, with warm, crystal clear waters found in oceans around the world. There's no wonder beachfront real estate is so expensive. But for many, the absolute horror of what lies beneath is enough to make them stay out of the water for good. Located in the North Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench is the deepest known trench in the world, and we've only scratched the surface to find out about what lives down there. Humans made their first ascent into the deep in 1960 in vessels specially built to handle the pressure down there at over 35,000 feet under the sea. So what have researchers found living in the trenches? Sea creatures that can only be described as real-life monsters, dragonfish, goblin sharks, sea devil anglerfish, frilled sharks, and zombie worms all thrive down there in the coldest, darkest reaches of the trench, ready to make a quick meal out of anything they can, catching them in their maws, sometimes swallowing their prey whole. And then there are the creatures who grow to absurdly large proportions due to a phenomenon known as deep-sea gigantism. Significantly lower temperatures in the trench mean larger cell sizes and delayed sexual maturity, along with an increased lifespan. The Mariana Trench is a place where nightmares become a reality, and the only thing scarier than these real-life sea monsters are all of the creatures down there that we don't know about. Number 14. Ilha de Camara Grande if you're deathly afraid of snakes, then make sure you steer clear of the Ilha de Camara Grande, an island in Brazil. When you first head to this island 90 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, you may first notice the breathtaking tropical flora. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice all of the snakes hiding in plain sight. Ilha de Camara Grande is home to about 4,000 golden lancehead vipers, which are one of the most dangerous snakes in the entire world, and their venom can kill a human in an hour. The history of snakes on the island goes back 11,000 years, when the island was once a part of mainland Brazil, but as sea levels rose, the area was eventually cut off, leaving the snakes to their own devices. They had no natural predators on the newfound island, but because they were at the top of the food chain, their numbers increased rapidly. But that also meant that their food ran out just as quickly, so they moved higher up in the trees and started eating any unsuspecting birds that may try to rest on the branches. And while your average snake will bite their prey and stalk them, waiting for them to die, the venom of these golden lancehead vipers evolved over time to become so potent that it will kill a bird and begin to melt its flesh almost instantly. The Brazilian government is pretty strict about visitors to this island, and a doctor must be present on any and all government-sanctioned visits. Number 13. Nagoro, Japan Despite being home to more than 125 million people and a population density of 83 people per square mile, Japan's population is in decline. The birth rate is becoming lower and lower, which means the more remote reaches of the country are becoming more desolate as time moves on. The tiny village of Nogoro is a strange place that's home to more dolls than people. And not small Barbie dolls either, these are life-size dolls that outnumber the human population 10 to 1. The dolls are the work of Tsukimi Ayano, a local artist who began diving into the uncanny valley, creating dolls to replicate all of her neighbors who either died or moved away over the years. So now the new neighbors can be found all over the town doing everything from fishing on the riverbank to sitting on benches. There's even a schoolhouse full of doll students and teachers. And while Ayano's work and her devotion to her craft are pretty stunning, one can't deny the overall creepy factor. Imagine visiting the village without knowing what you're getting yourself into. Imagine walking around here at night, unable to tell who is real and who isn't. The type of place where asking your neighbor for a cup of sugar is a total crapshoot. And as of 2020, there were just 37 living, breathing denizens of Nagoro, with the youngest being 50 years old, meaning about 350 dolls were living among them. This terrifying feature has helped the villager in the nickname Scarecrow Village. But all of this begs the question, what will happen when Tsukimi Ayano and her neighbors pass away? Number 12. Jezerat Al Hamra the United Arab Emirates is one of the most extravagant places on the planet. It's a beacon of representing not just human ingenuity and architecture, but also has vast amounts of wealth. And while a lot of the UAE is pretty new, there are still plenty of structures that weren't included in the Great Leap Forward that propelled the area into the future. One such place is Jezerat Al Hamra, which is 14 miles outside of a major city and in between a shopping mall and a water park. 
but it is also a literal ghost town. Jezerat al Hamra was established in the 14th century, becoming a thriving pearl fishing village in the 1800s, and then being abruptly abandoned in 1968. But all of the structures are still there, attempting to defy the sands of time. The first roads, mosques, and houses are all still there, and totally haunted. Visitors claim that although the once thriving village is empty, strange noises and ghostly apparitions abound. Many locals will also tell you that this place is home to jinn, pre-Islamic versions of genies, who in this particular instance take on the form of animals, so if you do see a four-legged creature or two roaming about in the region, it's best to steer clear of them. Number 11. The Castle of Good Hope Castle of Good Hope is a sprawling building not too far from the beautiful shorelines of Table Bay in South Africa, built in 1666. And with a number like 1666, you know you're off to a rough start. The Castle of Good Hope was built by the Dutch East India Company as a supply replenishment station for the ships coming in and out of port, but it also served as a military fortress and a prison during the Second Boer War at the turn of the 20th century. It is the oldest colonial building in South Africa, and you can book a tour and check out all the fort has to offer, including the torture chamber. Not only were prisoners tortured at Castle Good Hope, but it was also where many people were condemned to death by hanging under Governor Pieter van Noot in the 1700s. So expect to catch glimpses of ghastly specters haunting the grounds. But there is one ghost especially that holds the grounds in contempt. Just before being hanged, one of the condemned cursed the governor from the gallows, and Governor Van Nu died of a heart attack that very day. Now, in perhaps a fitting end to the story, the governor's ghost has haunted the battlements for centuries, condemned by those he had sentenced to death. Number 10. Hofti House The Hofti House is an incredibly famous home that overlooks the Reykjavik waterfront, and it earned its place in history from all of the famous and historical figures it housed. Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev met there in 1986, and Queen Elizabeth, Marlene Dietrich, and Winston Churchill all spent a night or two on this property. And that's not to mention all of the countless British ambassadors. Clearly, the Hofti House is a rich history, but it also has a history of being haunted, too. The most famous otherworldly presence who calls the Hofti House home is the White Lady, a ghost that many people believe died at her own hand. This phantom White Lady tends to pop up at all hours of the night, but she's caused so much panic and fear in the Hofti House that one ambassador convinced the British Foreign Office to sell the house immediately. The house was sold back to the Icelandic government that same year, but some Icelandic locals will also tell you that the Hofti House sits on a Viking burial site, and every now and then the spirits of the dead warriors will raid the liquor cabinet at night. A drunk ghost is, hopefully, a happy ghost. Number 9. Ramry Island While the thought of a tropical island getaway may sound appealing, there are some places that you should just steer clear of. And while the soldiers who met their fate on Remory Island may not have had much of a choice, the story is still a strange one. Remory Island sits off the coast of Myanmar with an area of about 520 square miles. It's also the site of a famous battle during World War II, simply known as the Battle of Remory Island. The British troops fought the Imperial Japanese Army here, and as they realized they were quickly losing the battle, the Japanese troops retreated into the marsh. And that's where the grisly story begins. There have been multiple accounts, but all of them share the same key feature. The troops were eaten alive by the island's saltwater crocodiles. Some sources will tell you 980 men died, others will tell you just 10 men were eaten, and one will tell you 400. But no matter which one you choose to believe, the Guinness World Records listed the incident as the greatest disaster ever suffered by humans from animals. No one but the crocodiles of Ramry Island will ever know the full truth. Number 8. North Sentinel Island In the Bay of Bengal on the Indian Ocean is an isolated indigenous tribe that has made it very, very known that they would like to keep it that way. They meet visitors with serious hostility and will not hesitate to kill anyone who attempts to make contact with them. Back in 1956, the government of India declared their home of North Sentinel Island a tribal reserve and prohibited anyone from coming within three nautical miles. And with all that's happened, that's probably for everyone's protection. But in 2006, the Sentinelese killed the fishermen who drifted onto the island despite warnings and tied their bodies to stakes as a warning to anyone else who should come too close. When helicopters were sent to retrieve the men's bodies, they were attacked by spears and arrows. The next incident happened in 2018 when a young Christian missionary, John Chow, illegally made his way to the island in hopes of converting the locals to his faith. 
He did manage to walk away unscathed after a few visits, but after his final visit, a local fisherman saw the Sentinelese dragging Chow's body across the shore. Both stories are incredibly unfortunate and sad, but the fact remains that when we step onto the Sentinelese land, we are living and dying by their rules, whether we agree with them or not. Number 7. Fairmont Banff Spring Hotel in the 1980s, The Shining managed to take something as harmless as a hotel and turn it into one big scare fest. So now when you see the Fairmont Banff Spring Hotel in Canada, don't be surprised when chills run down your spine. Built all the way back in 1888 to encourage tourism and bring the local train economy out of a rut, the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel is a chateau-style structure that sits right by the gorgeous Rocky Mountains. When you walk inside the hotel, it takes on, fittingly, a more gothic-style tone. Reports of multiple residents, ghosts have been made over the decades, one of which being a bride who allegedly fell down the stone staircase during the wedding ceremony. She must have said, until death to us part, because now she's haunting the hall still in her gown. But if that's a little too scary for you, then why not try looking for Sam the Bellman, who worked at the hotel until he quit in 1975, promising to haunt the location. Now the spirit of Sam the Bellman supposedly moves guests' luggage around when they're not looking, and this is one Bellman that you don't have to tip. Number 6. Leap Castle Leap Castle in Colderry, Ireland was built anywhere between the 13th and late 15th centuries, and its bloody history sounds like a page ripped right out of Game of Thrones. But this time, it's all real. Local legends will tell you that during a struggle for power within the ruling O'Carroll clan, one of their members killed his own brother who was a priest during a mass held in the castle's chapel. That room is now fittingly known as the Bloody Chapel, and just as you'd expect, the ghost of the priest haunts the church at night. In the early 1900s, Leap Castle underwent some renovations, and the construction workers just so happened to stumble upon a secret underground dungeon in the Bloody Chapel that was still home to some of the skeletons of its victims. But not just one or two skeletons were there. There were so many that it took a total of three cartloads to haul them out of there. Upon further investigation, they saw that the dungeon was specially designed so people would fall through a trapdoor onto spikes protruding from the ground. This area was purposely built close to the main hall, so the bloodthirsty clan members could hear you scream while you die a slow, painful death. Number 5. St. Augustine Lighthouse even after automation, lighthouses are incredibly lonely places. Keepers would stay there for weeks, even months at a time, often alone. It's easy to go crazy when you're all cooped up in there too, but the St. Augustine Lighthouse in Florida has a sordid history that draws almost a quarter of a million visitors annually. Several tragic events took place within these claustrophobic walls of the lighthouse that have given birth to plenty of paranormal activity. A keeper once fell to his death while painting the tower, and now his ghost can be spotted watching over the grounds and manning his post even in the afterlife. And while he may be harmless, that sounds like one horrifying sight to see. But then there are the sounds of children playing in the lighthouse, even when there are no children present. It's said that decades ago, three little girls were playing in a cart that broke and fell into the ocean. As you can imagine, all three drowned, but it looks like their game never ended, which is probably why they're still playing after all this time. Number 4. Guyola Island Guyola Island is a small island made of two inlets connected by a small stone bridge just off the Gulf of Naples, surrounded by rocky shores and crystal clear water that barely hides the ancient ruins at the bottom of the sea, and is home to a private villa that gives you a full 360 degree view of the area. And while you may be itching to move into this amazing home that looks suited for a Bond villain, many of the locals fear to tread on Guyola Island. What exactly is going on here? Well, the island's been around since Roman imperial times, but many will tell you that a curse had befallen the villa in the 1800s that remains today. It all started when the sole man who lived there, Il Mago, or the Wizard, disappeared without a trace or an explanation. The next inhabitant suffered from financial ruin after building the villa, and a ship crashed and fell to the bottom of the sea along with the crew at the turn of the 20th century. But it doesn't stop there, because in 1920, the next owners were victims of a grisly murder, and everyone who lived in the home on the water afterwards succumbed to similar dark fates. Today, though, Guyola Island is part of the Guyola Underwater Park, and it's protected by the region of Campania. And if you don't believe in curses, no one's going to stop you from swimming over to the island and taking a peek inside the forsaken residence. Have a good trip. Number 3. Vosros Denya it doesn't matter when, where, or why, war is a terrible thing. 
Even when fighting for the freedom of the world itself, terrible things happen on all sides that only the victims and survivors can ever truly know about. And even then, attempting to comprehend such acts can be futile. In 1948, during the Cold War between the Soviet Union and the United States, the former opened up a small laboratory on Votsordenya Island in the Aral Sea. What went on behind closed doors was top secret, but it's said that these Soviet scientists were working to weaponize some of the deadliest diseases humans have ever known biowarfare. The labs at Vozrodenya operated for 40 years, conducting open-air tests on smallpox, anthrax, and even the bubonic plague. The Soviets thought the process was safe because of the island's isolation. The effects of these bioweapons would never escape. But when the Soviet Union finally dissolved, the remnants of the bioweapons were buried and the island abandoned. But Soviet irrigation projects slowly caused the Aral Sea to dry up and a desert took its place. And now, the isolated island was now part of a mainland. The Russian government would send decontamination teams to the old lab, and according to a 2001 report, the coast was clear. But a conflicting report would surface four years later in 2005, claiming that many of the experiments, including the use of anthrax on animals, were well-preserved. The former island is a total ghost town, and one can only hope that it remains this way, because should the horrors within ever escape, the consequences would be disastrous. Number 2. Poveglia Italy's Poveglia was built at the end of the 18th century by the Venetian government as a plague quarantine station. In its heyday, this tiny little island was home to more than 160,000 infected people who would never leave. Many of the sick were buried here, with stories stating that about half of Poveglia's soil consists of human remains. In more recent years, several mass graves have been dug up on the nearby islands, all of which were made of plague victims. The idea of a series of islands acting as mass graves is pretty horrifying, and the thought of soil being made of human remains is even more disgusting. But its dark history didn't end there. Napoleon would eventually gain hold of the island, storing his army's weaponry there. But when the location was discovered, it became the site of multiple battles, only adding to the lost souls that would forever inhabit the island. But then in 1922, a mental hospital was opened on Poveglia, only adding to the history of horrors that befell on the island. The local legends say that one infamous doctor in particular tortured and killed many of his patients via experimentation, but the doctor would die here, falling from the bell tower. But with the reputation he had created for himself, did he fall or was he thrown? The hospital closed in 1968, but the ruins still stand as nature slowly encroaches upon the old stone and steel. Knowing all this, it should come as no surprise that Poveglia is thought to be severely haunted, and the island is favored by dark tourists and ghost hunters. The Italian government even put the area up for auction, but with so much bad blood in the soil, Poveglia's fate remains in limbo. Number 1. Island of the Dolls When did dolls become so scary? Well, for some of us, it was Sid's Toys and Toy Story. For others, it was child's play, and for the older, it may have been an episode of The Twilight Zone. But Mexico City native Don Julian Santana Barrera made this small island his home and then added his own personal touch, hundreds of dolls. And I'm not talking about Barbie dolls. Barrera was religious, and when a doll floated down the canal, he snatched it and hung it from a tree to pay respects to a young girl who had allegedly drowned nearby. And so for 50 years, until his death in 2001, Barrera continued to hang more and more dolls from trees, which he believed to be possessed by the spirit of this deceased girl. Whether or not Barrera suffered from mental illness is still up for debate, but regardless, he created one of the most macabre tourist attractions in Mexico, because people come from all over to hang dolls from the trees and pay their respects to Barrera, adding to the legend that he created and bringing it full circle. I'll see you next time. Watch our scary playlist for more top 15 videos about the most scary subjects. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best videos.